Hello YouTube. Watch this. Uh, uh. Enjoy the video. What's up? Hello my almost 10,000 brothers and sisters. Today we will cover the highly anticipated third person act. Third person meaning that the camera is behind the character like in Hitman or Just Cause. But this is not the case for other shooter games where it's primarily first person, which means that the camera is from the eye perspective of the character. Even when these games are first person, they sometimes have commands or actions that bring them into third person. And this is what we will use to our advantage. Because at the end of this tutorial, you will be able to force hack either third person or first person according to your needs. You can like the video, write a video idea in the comment section, I'll look at it. You can join the discord server. Now, don't be a douche, do not use sheets for unfair advantages, do not use it in multiplayer, you will get banned, just don't do it. Now enjoy this tutorial. Welcome to today's showcase, so let's get right into it. At the end, you will have an address or a pointer to the value that sets if we're in first person or third person mode. So, right now, we're first person. We can do the things. And once we change this value that we will find, it will set us in third person mode. This means you can programmatically change this value without having to perform some action in game for the console command and so on. You can just change this value. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and I'll see you in a bit. Welcome to another tutorial. So let's begin with an illustration of what we will do in this tutorial. We have two different camera modes. The first camera mode is the first person view. You may have heard FPS games, first person shooter games, and that's when you can see as the eye of the character, so you can see the weapon and so on like you would in real life. So that's the first view. Then we have the third person view. This is where you can see the character. This guy, you can see from sort of behind him as a different perspective. And that's the third person view. So in a lot of games, there is a value in the memory that will either set these camera angles or positions to either first person view or third person view. So we don't have to manipulate the camera and so on. We just need to find this switch and turn it into on or off for one to two or whatever value it could be to switch between the states. So to do that, we will go from first person mode, search for unknown initial scan, then change into third person, search for increased because we have increased the view sort of and then go back to first person search for decreased and repeat when we have found a small amount of addresses we can hopefully find the value of this switch so let's get right into our game so here i have Shitanya and my game of choice, Puzzle 2. Now, in the game, we have our first person state, but we do need to change to our third person state for us to find the switch or the value, because we need to filter all of the other values against each other to finally have our switch. And in Puzzle 2, you can open the console to use the console command behind view 1 
to go into third person. This helps us a lot because we can just switch back or between these states and search for the value. So you will have to find your own console command or own method to change between these states, the first person view, and we will search for unknown initial value with the data type four bytes. We don't know the value directly, so we will have to do with four bytes and unknown initial value. We have scanned now and collected our values addresses. We will now change into third person. So for postal two, you can write into the console behind view one to go into third person. So make sure that you have gone into third person and then search for increased value. And once we have searched for increased, we will go back to first person behind view zero and search for decreased because we have lowered the third person value or switch. We will repeat this until you have just a low amount of addresses left. You can search for unchanged value in between the changes, so before you change again, to remove a lot of these often changing values. But other than that, change from first person to third person, search for increased, change to third person, decreased, and continue. Or repeat increased. You can see here now that so I have only four addresses left now. I will select all of these so you can click on one, then shift, select all of them, click on the red arrow to put them in the address table, and here you can now. Oh, we can see that these two, these two did change, which can't be right, so let's remove them. So we have two addresses left now, and we will freeze them and check if freezes in the same uh, view. So if we freeze them now, we should stay in the first person view. So let's freeze them both and try to go into third person view. You can see that. When I try, oh yeah, seems like it crashed. Let's do that again. Don't crash the game. Uh, we had two values and it just teleported us back into the first person view. So what we can do is we can select just one to see if that is the address we're looking for. We're still stuck, which means that this is our third person value. And we can remove this first one. If we inspect the value, we can say here 295, 680. And when we change it into third person mode, it changes to the same, but with 81 on the end. So if we change this to 80, instead we should be in the first person view. And would you look at that? We can change our camera view, first person to third person. So this value doesn't tell us a, a lot, but if we change it into perhaps a byte, it could display just a value without the all other stuff and still would be our third person value. So it turns out this is just a byte. So it might not be four bytes. It might not be float. It might be a byte, a boolean, zero or one. So what you can do now is to pointer scan for this address. It will disappear once you restart the game. So if we pointer scan, here we have a core.dll, this could be good. No, I want an engine. Never mind. Well, 
we have a pointer that leads to the same value again. And now without finding the value, we can change into third person by changing it to one. Amazing. Make sure to let me know what other suggestions you have for me to cover, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.